game set match. The Niners are the NFC champions. It's not where we want to finish. We want to finish hoisting that trophy up. Until we do, we're just going to keep plugging away. The goals here haven't changed. It's winning championships. The Packers have dominated for a long time, and we got to get back to that. When things are going bad, there's going to be some good that's going to come from it. More time to get better. Got injured. Sprained my ankle. Got tapped out. Good. Got beat. Good. You learned. Unexpected problems? Good. We have the opportunity to figure out a solution. If you can say the word good, guess what? It means you're still alive. It means you're still breathing. And if you're still breathing, well then hell, you still got some fight left in you. So get up, dust off, Reload, recalibrate, re engage, and go out on the attack. When I haven't tasted blood in a while, I don't really, I don't notice, I'm not sitting there thinking about it. And then all of a sudden, something will happen. Open the cage and let us out! Some situation will unfold. And I'll, I'll go into like war mode. And I, I just feel so good. It, it makes me just look around and I just think, you know, I wasn't really supposed to be doing anything else. I felt like I was born to do this. Because it, it makes me feel so good to, to, to be in that mode, to feel that focus. When I have somebody or some entity that is antagonistic to me and my family, my friends, my team, I feel something that is the best feeling. Whether it was the enemy, whether it was part of some organization, some person that had some, did, did something. You know, if there's a betrayal scenario where someone betrays me, and they want to go to war. That's when I love the taste of blood. Hey, let's make them quit. It might seem like that's an unwinnable battle. But really, to me, it's not about winning. It's the battle itself. It's the struggle. It's the daily test. That's what life's about. Not just physically, but mentally. Getting that rock to the top of the mountain. That's not what my goal is. My goal actually is pushing the rock. Because pushing the rock that pushes me, that makes me tougher, that makes me harder, mentally and physically. It gives me much more than I give it. I want to struggle. I want to grind and claw and scratch and I want to dig in and I want to push. And I don't want it to end. If I ever got the rock to the top of the mountain and it stayed there, I'd push it back down myself. I don't want to rest. And I don't want to coast. And I don't want to reach a point in my life where I say, that's it. I've done enough. I'm not going to give anymore. I'm not going to push anymore. No. That relentless.
endless cycle of day-to-day challenges, they aren't maddening to me, they don't frustrate me, they inspire me. They inspire me to drive and push more and to push harder. That's what that rock does to me. So I say, dig in and get to pushing. To motivate actually means to provide a motive, a reason why. So to motivate someone is to explain to them why they're doing what they're doing, how it will help them, where it'll take them, why they should continue to work and to struggle and to fight. And when you need motivation yourself, don't look for someone to scream and yell. Don't look for someone else to give you motivation. Look at yourself. Look at yourself and remind yourself why. Why you are doing what you are doing. Remind yourself that this struggle, this temporary pain, this fight, this fight that you're in, this is what will make you stronger, faster, and smarter, and better. And then, with that motivation, go forward into the fray, into the storm, into the heat of the battle, where victory is forged. Are you going to fall over and fall down and fall apart? Or are you going to lead? Let's focus on the details today. I'm gonna have some fun now. Respect the win. Are you going to face this issue with courage and with resolution? Hey, let's take over this game, man. Let's take over this game. It's time. Oh, big boys on me. One, two, three. I say lead. Step up to the challenge. Be the one that other people look to. Absorb that impact, absorb that negativity. Draw fire. Bring that pain to me. I can handle it. When when maybe others cannot. When bad things are happening, I am going to try and be the one good thing. The thing standing tall that can be relied upon. Because I know that that attitude will spread. It will bolster those around me. And and we will fight. And in fighting, we will win. And if not the battle, and if not the war, we will win because our spirit, it will never surrender. And that, that is the ultimate victory, to hold your head high. And even, even in the face of inescapable defeat, to stand. and to fight.
is to win. Different day, but the mission is still the same. I know Aaron Rodgers, he talked about it. If we come together as one, we can be very dominant, man. And everybody back in Green Bay, Wisconsin, I know you guys hyped. That's it. Ah!